Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Diamond Select Toys, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Mini Mates. We're having a look today at Battle Damage Spider-Man vs. Electro. Recommended for ages 8 and up, this comes to us from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys. This also comes to us from the folks over at Luke's Toy Store, which seems to be an ongoing place where Spot picks up a lot of his mini-mates from. I'm going to provide the link down below if you guys want to check out Luke's Toy Store. And the folks over at Luke's Toy Store are also offering you guys a $2 off coupon for any of your purchases. So if you guys want to pick up some of these really neat mini-mates and save yourself a little money as well, click the link down below. You can head over to their store. Um, the Battle Damage Spider-Man uh, comes with the Firefighter's Hat, and then of course we've got ourselves Electro here. Some really solid two-pack of Mini-Mates here. On the back of the package, the entire lineup of Amazing Spider-Man 2 Mini-Mates are Alexei uh, Sitovich. I know I'm going to continue to probably pronounce his name wrong. Alistair Smith, or Alistair Smythe. Gwen St uh, Stacy, Peter Parker... It's Battle Damage, Spider-Man, Electro, Spider-Man, and Green Goblin. Uh, as it currently stands right now, you guys have already seen the review of Spider-Man and Green Goblin. I still got to do the, uh, we're going to have a look at the other figures, the other mini-mates as well. Uh, your read-up for Battle Damage, Spider-Man, as the resident superhero of New York, Spider-Man is at first an inspiration to Max Dillon. However, he becomes the focus of Electro's rage when his heroics upstage the attention-seeking supervillain. On the flip end of it, Electro's read-up says an overlooked and ignored Oscor employee, Max Dillon, was the victim of a freak accident that gave him control over all forms of elect electricity. After a lifetime of being forgotten, he is finally in the spotlight. Wasn't super keen on Electro in the movie, but I thought Jamie Foxx was pretty good in it, though, nonetheless. Uh, what I am going to do is take a break. Get this open up. When we come back, we're getting a better look at Battle Damaged Spider-Man versus Electro. There's more on your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. For your accessories, Spider-Man and Electro both come with clear display stands, which is a common sight to see with Diamond Select Mini Mates now. I always sound like a broken record, and Spot apologizes for that, but I'm always happy to see the inclusion of clear display stands. It allows you the opportunity to display them just above and beyond two mini mate legs standing on a shelf. So I always welcome these, and thank you uh, to Diamond Select for always including them. Moving that to the side, and uh, you know what? Let's look at Spider Man first. He's roughly about the same kind of Spider-Man that we got before with the other Mini-Mate 2-pack, the one that came with Green Goblin. I guess the real exception is that he has more torn and ripped outfit. Uh, yes, he does have a Firefighter's helmet or Firefighter's hat on there, which is the same thing that he had with uh, in the movie. A very brief time that he was wearing it. Uh, if you don't think it's kind of weird, a little kind of dumb, you can take this off too. And uh, you can just put this aside. Really, any mini mate that has a peg hole on the top, like if he had hair, and you take the hair off, he would have a peg hole. Uh, you can just, uh, you know, you'd be able to use the firefighter's hat with them. Uh, the only downside, though, taking off Spider Man's head, he does have a hole in the top of his head, though. That's the only downside. So, depending on if you've already got the two pack that came with Green Goblin, you might even just be fine with uh, keeping this one on, just for kind of giggles, you know. Spider-Man also does come with his webbing, which if you collected many a Spider-Man mini mates, you probably have seen these ones, this uh, webbing before. It uh, it just clips into his hand, just like so, just kind of wedges into his hand like that, and uh, he's got a full length web. Or what you can do is the little hook here, you can just hook it onto itself, and you got yourself like a little loop, a little lasso. Oh, we've kind of seen these a lot so uh you know not too much to talk about but yeah you get the the webbing once again uh for your articulation spider-man has the standard mini mate articulation so he has a nice ball joint in the head rotation all the way around nice ball joint shoulders hinge joint in the elbow 
swivel joint in the uh, the wrist, sole waist, and then ball joint legs. So they move quite easily out, forward and back. Nice bend at the knee, and uh, rotation in the foot. Uh, he's you know he's a nice piece. Even if you take the firefighter's hat off, you know a nice battle damage Spider-Man is always welcome by me. Plus as well he uh, you know depending on who he's you know how you got him display if you have him display with Electro or you know Lizard or any one of the earlier uh, mini mates too. You know, again, a battle damage Spider-Man can go a long way. Uh, for your ratings, Spider-Man, battle damage Spider-Man, I'm going to give him a, a 7.5. And you know what? While we're at it, why don't we actually make use of the display stands? They're there. We might as well use them. There you have Spider-Man. We can even just have him standing on his leg, just like that. Just for fun, we'll just have him standing on his leg. Uh, next, moving along, let's have a look at Electro. Electro for me is, I think, the star of this set. He's such a great looking mini me. Not uh, keen on the way he looked in the movie, nor did it make any sense that he could travel from room to room, you know, one area to another, and his suit somehow could materialize with him. I wish they had done something different where maybe his body was just fully electri electricity or something like that, because like it made no sense that he could just disappear and reappear with his body. It's like, what? What? Uh, though Minimate wise, he is awesome. A little circuitry body that he's got going on there. Uh, but I mean, the, the real star of this Minimate is this blue that they've used. They've translated the blue that he has in the movie very well to Minimate form. And it's almost like a like a blue metallic coloring. It's It's really awesome. I love it. Uh, likeness wise, you know, how do you say likeness wise? I mean, Jamie Foxx did have some makeup and prosthetics and stuff on his face. Likeness wise, it doesn't look like Jamie Foxx. Likeness wise, though, it looks a lot like Electro. Uh, same articulation as well the ball joint in the head, ball joint shoulders, nice hinged in the elbows, rotation in the wrists, waist, and of course the, the ball joint legs and everything else like that. So a standard mini mate body, but Electro looks awesome. He does come with some accessories, some of which you've seen before, like this little spiral of electricity. They've used it. I think they've actually used it with an Electro before, but they've used it on countless occasions. It is at least the same coloring as Electro, so it kind of gives you that overall feel. There's that peg hole, or peg on the bottom, peg hole on his feet, so we just can take it. You can peg his feet in, but really, truth be told, you really don't even need to have his feet pegged in. I mean, he stands, he wedges very well in there that, uh, you know, you really don't necessarily need to have him pegged in there. Uh, above and beyond that, he also has a couple of uh, little uh, electricity pieces that you can peg onto his arms. Again, we've seen these before. These aren't anything new. Some would say this isn't their first rodeo. I don't even know what that means, but their first rodeo, you can peg them into place. One area here is a little warped. I'll just get that, peg that into place like so. And you can have like Electro with his electricity, which is actually probably how I'm going to have him displayed. Something like that. I mean, that's a great, that's a great way to display him. And then if you want, you know, above and beyond that, you can put him also on his stand. Not necessarily having to peg him in, but you can put him on his stand nonetheless, like so. This, eh, this, this is all right. I don't mind this. Maybe at the end of the day, I might just end up displaying him just like that, just like you see right now. Uh, with I think a lot of the two packs, uh, movie two pack wise, I think one figure is always stronger than the other. Uh, it's great to get a battle damage Spider-Man, but I think, again, the real money in this set is Electro. He's a great looking figure, and I love this coloring of blue that they've used for him. Electro, I'm going to give him an 8.5. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Diamond Select Toys Amazing Spider-Man 2 Mini Mates. We're having a look today at battle damage Spider-Man and Electro. And again, if you guys want to check out more and pick up some Mini Mates for yourself, head over to Luke's Toy Store. And you can also use the coupon code the review spot, and uh, you know you can save yourself two dollars. I'll provide all that link down below if you guys want to save some money, 
pick up some mini mates like these guys right here. Stay tuned also, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way and, of course, more mini mates action heading your way as we look at the rest of the figures that make up the Amazing Spider Man 2 sets. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.